Alright, so welcome back. So, I believe we have a lot of scenes to see and witness. How big is this area? Oh, it's not too big. Um, but I do think we unlocked Ace's costume or summer wear, so let's put that on. There we go. Lovely. Um, so let's see what we're working with first before we go in and indulge all of these different scenes. I believe there's three back at the other area. Uh, there's a bunch here. Hello, King. Yo! Yo! Uh -huh. Oh! Oh god, it's actually a scene. Ugh. It really stinks in here. Huh? You Rubrum folk reek of crystal. I can't stand it. What's that supposed to mean? Unlike we Militacy, you're like lapdogs to your crystal. I'm getting nauseous just breathing the same air. Hey! You want a piece of this, yo? Huh. You say you work for the good of the crystal, then bare your fangs during a ceasefire? You animals. Stop. Don't listen to him. Huh. I'll take on as many rubrum dogs as they throw at me. You say we're the lap dogs for the crystal. But I'd say you make a much better pet for Sid. What did you say? What happened to your emperor who sustained this realm? Why do you follow Sid so blindly? How dare you speak of Marshal Sid that way? Huh. Should have known not to try reasoning with a lapdog. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Curse you, Red Scourge of the Empire! Hmm, <laughs> at least it seems like King is somewhat intelligent, unlike... 8? Or 9? No, I think his name is 9. Unlike 9. Yeah, because 8 is my little fisty dude. Alright. Who's this? Jack. We only have 10 hours though till the next mission and there's so many people we can talk to. How am I gonna pick? Who am I gonna pick? Uh, who is that? That's an intel officer. What would a Rubu intel officer be doing here? I was pondering very much the same thing. Perhaps he too is accompanying the Chancellor. Hmm. Is something wrong? No, it's nothing. Let's go. Uh, okay. Is that... Section 4? Hmm, interesting. So there's a task here. Oh, and there's eight. Uh, max out one cadet's attack for Clementine. I don't know how to do that. I guess let's go and chat with eight over here. How you doing, buddy? This isn't the time to chat. Oh, it's not a scene. So we're not going to keep talking then. We're only going to do the ones that are scenes. I think this is the last area here, so... No, oh, that's not a scene either. We only have 10 hours, which means 5 more different uh, events we can witness, so... What is this? No? Well, uh... I... Makina? Uh. What are you doing here? Oh, uh, nothing. I bet you're thinking about what the Queen told you. That's none of your business. Uh. Uh. Man, 
what's eating him? Hmm, I don't know, Lightning. Maybe the fact that he found out that his brother's death is basically Class Zero's fault? Perhaps. Oh. Uh, Gil, for your thoughts? Hmm? Oh. This is our first time in Militats, right? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe it's deja vu. I just feel like I know this place. Maybe you saw a picture at the Crystarium. No, no, no. I'm not queen. I don't read stuff. <sighs> you should at least read our mission briefs. Um, okay, that was kind of pointless. Nope. What about you, Jack? Not to give the Empire credit, but this is some town, huh? How do you mean? Well, the Empire doesn't use magic in daily life like we do in the Dominion. But then, how did they build a city like this? They have their MAs in lieu of magic. Well, yeah, I get your point, but still... Before we came here, Queen told me that... MAs also use power drawn from the crystal, and convert its magic-like properties into energy. Oh... So in a way, you can say this land was built with the power of crystals, just like ours was. Yeah, that does make sense. You and Queen are so smart! <sighs> uh, I think Jack is just as stupid as Nine. All a lot of the Class Zero sounds like idiots, I don't know, but... It's unfortunate, really. Google a shop? We never even checked what he has to know, it's just info. Hello, Koopo! Mog and Orderly Arya are still on duty, so we're here to back you up, Koopo. Talk to Mog if you would like to use Academia facilities, Koopo. Koopo? Like what, Koopo? Koopo? Oh, combat simulation. Hmm. Huh? Is something wrong? I'm not supposed to talk. Why not? We won't get angry with you. You can speak freely. Really? Yes, really. <sighs> Finally! We're done with the charade! Thank you! I can breathe normally now. So, now what? On second thought, maybe you'd better stay quiet. What? Stay quiet? You frickers just got done telling me that I could speak freely. Why don't you try keeping your damn word, frickin' cadets? Um, uh, who told you not to talk? Hmm? Oh, my ma. She was pleading all frickin' tearfully and such. She was all like, Please don't open your mouth in front of people! <laughs> Frickin' mom, huh? But class zero, man! Such big frickin' hearts. It sure is hella nice to have you guys around. I think your mother may have been right. So class zero is just a bunch of frickers. Apparently. Me 
need something? Can I freaking help? Wow, that's great. Um, no, we don't need any of that stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so in the hotel, I'm pretty sure... I thought there was... Oh wow, we missed out on those scenes. Oh no, okay, they're loading up now, okay. No, they're not loading up now. There is nothing. I guess we just flat out missed out on them. That's unfortunate. What? Uh, it's too bad. Alright, back up we go. Gotta buy time till the mission, so... Okay, let's talk to you, I guess. No, actually, hold on. Let's, uh, talk to eight. What do you got for me? Don't forget to train. I know they call the ceasefire, but it still doesn't feel right being in Militas. Sure, the Chancellor and the Commander may be here with us, but I can't get comfortable in enemy territory. You remember how tough that Lassie we fought at the factory was, right? He was a lot tougher than the one we fought back in Academia during the Liberation. I guess that just goes to show how much stronger the Primus Lassie are than their secondist counterparts. We got lucky they called the ceasefire when they did. Very true. I guess we'll talk to this guy over here to finish up our last two hours. As I read, you probably know this. You probably don't know this, but there is one man in Militas more powerful than our Lassie, Marshal Alstein. You probably remember Lord Nimbus, the white tiger Lassie who wiped out that pathetic excuse for a fortress you called Togareth and gave your Zuyu a run for his gill. Lady Kumi is our secondest Lassie, and it was her power that made possible the realization of Marshal Alstein's ingenious crystal jammer. Come to think of it, I wonder where Lady Creamy has disappeared to. I heard she went to assist in the invasion of Lorica, but I don't think she's returned. No matter though, Marshal Alstein can activate the jammer all by himself. He doesn't need to depend on the sea for help. I bet you Reds don't know what it's like to live unbound by the crystal. Alright, mission time. So let's head back to the hotel, because that's where we need to go. What's up? There are a lot of soldiers here, and I think they're watching us. Well, of course. I mean, sure, a ceasefire is in place. But to them, having us here is like having rogue MAs on the loose. <laughs> I guess. Hmm. Take care of it. What was that? I don't know. To the Concordians? We must be like a dragon without a rider. <laughs> yeah. What does that even mean? Dragon without a rider? Uh, who are we supposed to talk to? I guess the guy here? Alright, buddy. Now, all your friends have headed back to the hotel, why don't you join them? Sure. The robin has returned to the nest. I repeat, the robin has returned to the nest. Huh? This feeling. A crystal. 
Crystal Jammer? An Imperial attack? As I suspected, we've been sitting in their trap this whole time. You see... Not now, Trey! Oh. Run for it. If we stay here, we'll suffer the same fate. Let's move on. Well, that was a little cruel. She didn't freaking deserve that. <laughs> okay, so who are we going to use? I want to unlock the costumes for the other people, so... We need to start using... So we're not going to use eight... Well, we'll bring in everybody, of course. No. Eidolon, and we'll use... I guess we'll use Ifrit. Here, active members. We're definitely gonna use Rem. Nine's already got it, so we'll try out... We need a ranged guy, so King... I don't like Jack very much, to be completely honest. But... It is what it is. You are authorized to use firearms. Exterminate the targets. Stop. That's orderly. Please stop. I knew we couldn't trust the Empire. <laughs> no point crying about it now. Nice, got him. So we need to think uh, 30 kill shot kills or something, or kill site kill. Oh. There we go, nice. Fine. I'll give you a hand. It'd be nice if Rem would heal me. That is the whole reason we have her. But we also need to unlock her um, summer wear as well, but I don't think it'll be as easy because she's not really made for... Well, I don't know. I feel like she's not as good in close quarters combat, but I guess they're all okay. Damn it. Nice. Good. Alright, we've got some glowy orbs here. Guest register. Guest register. Uh, okay. So let's keep going. We've reached the safe area. Isn't that convenient? So we got our team members back. Um. I wonder what we can do with our spells now. We unlocked, I think, a couple new spells, like Fire Rock. Um, does Fire Bomb the best ability we have? I have no idea. We don't even use magic all that often, really, to be honest. Uh, so we'll take a break here, and next time we'll continue on with this mission and find out what the hell is going on with uh, Kurosame and...
Concordia, because it seems like they were the Concordia and the Empire were conspiring to take over Rubrum, or at least that's what I'm perceiving right now. So, and getting Class Zero here, but I think Class Zero doesn't get affected by the magic jamming, or at least I thought they didn't. But anyways, we'll take a break here, and next time we'll continue on and see what the hell is going on. So until then, thanks for watching.